Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn your footage into this crazy, like super sharp, almost AI looking film look that was done in the new Central C music video. At first, when I saw this music video, I thought it was done with AI, but looking at it a little bit closer, I think it's just a few effects inside of After Effects or Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna show you how to do it all 100% native inside of After Effects, and I'm even gonna give you a free preset that you can just apply and tweak to your footage. If all that sounds cool, drop a like on the video, and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do that. But let's get into After Effects. And before we get into the tutorial. If you haven't already downloaded ShakeSauce 2, go ahead and click the link down below. There's a seven day free trial. You can see here in the top right, it's my After Effects plugin that makes adding Shake simple and easy. You can make custom presets. You can import and export presets. I'll also have another link down below showing you all the tips and tricks and how to use it properly. But for right now, let's go ahead and show you how to turn your footage from this into something like this. So to get started, to get that ultra kind of crispy kind of look, it almost reminds me of like those deep fried back in the day Instagram photos, but done a lot more tastefully. I think Jerry Productions is a pioneer in the space and he's trying out this. And I actually at first was like, whoa, what's going on? And then kind of liked it more and more as the video progressed. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and how I would do it in After Effects with no plugins, just using the default effects. The first thing I'm gonna drag on is Unsharp Mask. And I'm gonna bring up the radius a decent amount to something like eight, eight and a half, maybe nine. And then you can bring up the intensity. As you can see, depending on your footage, you can really, really crank it and it starts to get like this deep fried kind of look. Obviously we wanna avoid that, but we do wanna like push it so it looks a little crispy. So something around like 80 for us looks pretty good. You can see if I toggle it on and off, we already have a lot more of this very crisp, almost AI look. What I'm gonna do is actually go ahead right here, right click on it and duplicate it. And you're gonna see it gets really, really intense. But now I'm gonna go ahead and reset and turn the radius down to this one that it is at default and then just bring it up a little bit more. You can see, you might not be able to see on the tutorial as much, but it just adds a little bit more sharpness to it. So go ahead and you know tweak it to your settings. But these are the two primary effects. Now I'm gonna go show you a few other things that I would add on to make it look a little bit cleaner. So one more thing to kind of give it a little bit more of that crispness is brightness and contrast. So if you bring up the contrast and maybe the brightness just a little bit, it'll kind of make it feel just even a little bit more sharp. Now you don't want to overdo this because you can very quickly make your footage look like this deep fried kind of meme if you overdo it too much. But as you can see here, toggling it on and off, I think it adds a little bit of sharpness. It's not overdoing it too, too much. It's definitely on the border right now. If we go ahead and add on this effect called add grain, it's really going to hide the kind of like super digital look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the viewing mode to final output and then change the preset to whatever. You can go ahead and play around with all the different presets. It doesn't really matter because we're going to go through and tweak the settings, but it just gives you a better understanding of what it's going to look like. So inside, I'm going to turn the color to monochromatic. That way it just doesn't have any color noise. I personally think it looks a little bit better. And then we can go ahead and play around with the intensity of the grain and the size of it. I kind of make the size a little bit smaller and we might bring up the intensity overall a little bit. So now you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like this film look but also very, very sharp. One of the ways I like to go ahead and make it feel a little bit more authentic is in the application setting. Go ahead and play with the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. And basically what this is gonna do is control the amount of grain in different areas. And in the Central C video that I'm referencing, they kind of have the grain in the shadows turned down a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. It was still there, but just not as noticeable. And then I felt like it was more noticeable in the midtones and the highlights. So I'm gonna make the midtones the most visible, and then the second most is highlights, and then the third most is the shadows. But this can all be personal preference. You can tweak it to whatever you want. So now if you turn it on and off, you can see it kind of hides a little bit of those like digital kind of block looking things here with some of the grain. And as you can see here, once you render it out, it looks a lot more like that AI kind of super sharp look. You can see if we toggle on and off the effects here, it makes it look so insanely soft, but that's just what normal footage looks like. And then going for that look that was in that Central C video, like the over sharpened kind of almost AI upscale kind of look, this is what we get. Like I said, I'll have the link to this preset that I made in the description. You can download it 100% for free. While you're down there downloading the preset for free, go ahead and check out Shake Sauce 2, my new After Effects plugin. You can try it out for seven days for free. Cancel at any time. It's 100% risk-free. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.